Land of Fire, Hidden Leaf Village. There stood a boy whose clan had been eradicated by his own elder brother. A boy by the name of Sasuke Uchiha. He lived for a period of time in peace. But as soon as he began walking down the path of revenge, he slipped into darkness. And finally succeeded in conquering his brother, Itachi Uchiha. But his brother's words had all been lies. The Hidden Leaf was the real enemy. Soon, the tiny flames of hatred grew into the inferno that was the fourth great ninja war. And as the terrible conflict erupted, as he dashed toward the battlefield, Sasuke Uchiha saw someone completely unexpected. His brother had been revived into the physical world. Over time, the two came to terms with each other and were finally brothers once more. And then, after succeeding in what he came to do, Itachi disappeared into the light. I will always love you. Leaving just one line of truth with his little brother. There you are. See it, sir. And you go? We've been looking all over for you. So, what do you want with me? Why did you come all this way to find me? Uh, well, the thing is, we just happened upon a mind blowing scroll in Orochimaru's hideout. Take a look. Well, pretty amazing, huh? Yes. They're the ones with all the answers. There's someone I need to see now. Who's that? Orochimaru. Huh? Hmm? What are you talking about? You iced his ass. You know Orochimaru. You really think that'd be enough to vanquish him? Jugo, bring that woman too. Who is she? A hidden leaf ninja Kabuto kidnapped. The seal absorbed Orochimaru's chakra. We'll just use that to summon Orochimaru back. Whoa, hold on. Reviving Orochimaru is way too dangerous. Huh? Curse unsealing! Getting started, aren't we? Sasuke, I was just trying to screw with you. Right here, take 
Let's just kill him again. Seconds. I'm shocked. How could you be so Sano, flame control! Orochimaru, I know what you're thinking. Burn out! Feeling better now, Orochimaru? Had enough? I've limbered up, yes. That'll do for now. Fighting him made me realize that he's a bit different from before. So, there's something I want you to do for me, Orochimaru. Yes, you really don't need to explain all that. I've been watching him the whole time, remember? And when you meet them, then what? I know too little. I want them to tell me everything. You needn't trouble yourself with all that. You're still just a child after all. No. I'm not a child, not anymore. I can't be a child. I need to know how it all began. I need to know who I should be. What I should be doing. I want to know everything, so I can decide what it all means for myself. I want to make my own judgments. Then I'll decide what needs to be done. I think I quite like you now. Very well. I'll help you. Come with me. Where to? <laughs> oh, to a place you know very well indeed. Come, let's go. I knew it, but I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to be wrong. I mean, back then, you, you were a hero. It was during the third great ninja war. An age when men and women, young and old, anyone who was known as ninja, flew headlong into battle. They drew blood, shed their bonds, stole things, and lost their own. This cycle of hatred spread like wildfire, endlessly. And in the center stood three fledgling youths. They too were ninja. Embroiled in this terrible war, putting their lives on the line. How are you always so late? Ninja have rules. You need to stick to the plan. A good ninja sticks to the rules and does everything by the book. Rules, doing things by the book, that's all you ever talk about. Don't you have any compassion? Any ninja that breaks the rules sullies their name. You can at least understand that, right? Okay, okay, you two. Give it a rest. We're on the same team, remember? Reen, you're too soft on Obito. Today's a very important day for us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
Huh? What's going on? Phew. Let's talk about it on the way to our destination. As of today, Kakashi's become a Jonin, like me. We'll split into two units, led by Kakashi and myself, in order to give us the best chance of success. We're suffering from the biggest lack of manpower that the Hidden Leaf Village has ever seen. Remember. Actually, Obito. Remember our talk about giving Kakashi a present? I already gave him a med kit, and Sensei's also... I gave him a custom-made kunai knife. Just like the one I carry. What about you, Obito? Sorry, I, I forgot. What? Well, I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. It probably would have just been a piece of junk. Useless crap like that would just be excess baggage. Hey! Oh, come on, don't start fighting! Now, let me run through the mission. You're all aware that the Land of Earth has launched an invasion against the village hidden in the grass, right? Yes, they're coming very fast. It's only a matter of time before they cross into the Land of Fire. That's why we need to stop them as soon as possible. As such, our mission this time is to infiltrate enemy territory and destroy the Kanabi Bridge, which is part of their supply route. So we're going to cut off the enemy's support network. What about you, Sensei? I'm going to tackle them head on and act as a diversion for you. For today, Kakashi is your leader. We'll stick together until we hit the border, but after that, your unit's on its own. Got gotcha. it! They noticed me, did they? Impressive. Careful now, everyone. There's 20 of them, although there's a good chance they're using Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm going in. Cover me. Not so fast, Kakashi. You should act as backup. What about what you said before, Sensei? I'm the leader today. That means I call the shots, doesn't it? That's the rule. Okay, everyone. Follow Kakashi's lead. Uh, okay. I can do is make sure you don't suffer. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Don't miss! Ha! All set. Please Good don't to miss. go. Ha! Ha! Please don't miss! Ha! Ha! You aren't getting in! You aren't getting away! You won't escape! Kidori! Please don't miss! Please don't miss! Please don't miss! Got it! Okay, let's go! Yes! All set! Kidori! They really do have a lot on their side. Gosh, he's getting tired. That's surprising considering how many he's up against. Think you're better than the Stone Ninja? Be right there! <laughs> okay, let's go! Okay, yeah, let's go! Ha! Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go! Get off your high horse! <laughs> okay, let's go! <laughs> yeah. Who won't escape? <laughs> Good. No sign of any reinforcements. Kakashi's really worn out. Let's retreat for now and regroup. I'm... I'm fine. Fine my ass? That's what you get for ignoring Sensei and doing whatever you like. That's some talk, coming from a ninja who was too scared to be of any help. I... I wasn't scared! I was just, you know, I, I had a tummy ache. I'll be fine next time. That's all that ever comes out of your mouth. Excuses. Enough already, you two. <sighs> You're going to have to work together from now on if you want to complete your missions. Right now, you're pulling in opposite directions. Yes, Kakashi. Rules in the Ninja Code are important, but they aren't everything. It's like I taught you. Sometimes you've got to adapt to the situation you're in and bend the rules. And Obito. You still haven't truly prepared yourself to be a ninja. Your spirit is weak. That's why you feel scared when you actually face the enemy. I've got faith in you all, though. I know that you can complete this mission on your own. But if you cannot work together and function as a team, you're going to fail. Before I go, one more thing. The most important thing any ninja has to master is teamwork. Got it? With heartbeats racing, without a clear vision of what was really right and wrong, trapped in